Well, if Riley gets to tear something apart, so does John. Now it's time for a Tear Down Tuesday. What do we have today in the box on the bench? Ugh. Let's see. Pelco 16 channel multiplexer. Ugh. Interesting piece of stuff. Weighs a frickin' ton. Which are probably is heat sinks for all these BNC connectors in the back. Uh, key to this thing is I checked. I paid almost nothing for it. And I checked the list price when it came out was three thousand plus. Now they sell for about sixteen bucks on eBay. It's a nice slimline chassis which I like, which I could probably find a use for. So let's dive in and see what's on the inside. Uh. Out. Do the obvious. Uh, there we go. Woo hoo! Cool. B and C's are connected up with little connectors, so I can scrap all these out. Have a nice little connector on each. It's got a wicked little transformer. Lots of chips. Nice faceplate. Dip switches. Toshiba. Death cats. A relay. Huh. Oh, nice piece of kit. Pity you have to rip it apart. Separate power supply with a fast fuse. It's probably a nice power supply too. Ooh, monster capacitor. Which is kind of nice. It's very well made. Very well made indeed. Ooh. All these connectors are. Ugh. All these connectors are plugs. They come right off. Ugh. Whoever did it, they knew what they're doing. Ooh, it's a 250 volt power supply. Cool. That could come in handy. No damage anywhere. Put that one BNC connector over there. But you know, put that up. You could make an amp out of this. You've got a nice flat power supply there. Flip her over. Bob's your uncle. A little rusty on the side. That doesn't matter. Made in USA. Ooh. You don't see that very often these days. Probably the last product ever made in the States. Uh, I hate taking apart American things. The, not the capacitor, that's who made this. DC output, channel 1, 5 volts, channel 2, 12, out 12, out 15, so it's just a 12 volt power supply. But, it's got some nice heat sinks on it. So, not worth scrapping anything out of this. The fun thing about it is got some of that glue in there for those little ferrite beads. <laughs> well known to cause uh, to cause uh, interference. They become uh, conductive after a few years. 
So their power supply blew. Oh, that maybe it's just glue in there? Could it be just glue? Check. Oh right, well, I'll run her up with 125 volts and check that power supply. Don't think it actually popped. It looks like it's a goop. Yeah, that's just goop holding that in there. So it didn't pop. Power supply's fine. Okay. take out. It's all hand soldered. That's what you call the days before they had uh Let's see. One, two, two, three, four. Five. Six! Six blocks! Ha <laughs> Yes! <laughs> Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 14, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 connected ones, 1, 2, oh no, 20 connected ones, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 15 singletons. Oh, nice little relay board. If anyone wanted to take that apart or not. Just take a partable for once. Don't need those. That would be nice to have. Zap that. 
bunch of buttons, which are always useful to have about. Wire. Get those connectors. Nice uh, power supply. 5 volt, 12 volt, minus 5 and minus 12. So actually very useful. Probably very quiet too. Power supply, jumpers of course, oh, we can have enough jumpers, screws, a couple grinding cables. I know the guys at the radio club are going to like these things, so I was in short supply. And standoffs, I never have enough standoffs. Ooh, that was my scrapping day today. <laughs>